internet is uh, in this 29th year is almost uh, grown up and uh, also half of the world population is close to be online. Uh, still there are worries about uh, the future of internet and we want to ask you a few questions about uh, these worries. But let's start first from the economic model of internet. Uh, for many years uh, it looked like uh, nobody knew how to do money on internet at the start. Then uh, company become, some companies become incredibly rich, making a lot of money with uh, a model essentially based on advertising. Do you think this is the future? How can this model change in the future? What would Google will do? So yes, I think that model will change and become richer with more business models being available. Look at, for example, video. It used to be we only had ad-supported TV. There might be government-supported TV. There's streaming video. There's download on demand. There are all sorts of different ways to look at video content. Indeed, there are all sorts of ways to look at textual content and other and music content, for that matter. So each of these areas, each of these media fields has evolved to offer a variety of business models. And Google's doing the same thing. In the US, we offer YouTube Red, which is a subscription service to ad-free YouTube that has uh, the, all the content that's on the regular YouTube plus extra content that we've uh, developed that's available in the US, New Zealand, Australia, and we hope it will soon be available in Europe. So there are new business models, but let's uh, talk also a little bit about the effect of internet on the old business model of other industries' business model. One uh, that worries us uh, uh, a lot is the uh, media industry. Mm, we have also here a center for media pluralism and media freedom, and it's clear that uh, media publishers are suffering from the digital revolution at this moment, and it's not clear what is their new business model. And we know that also Google has some uh, new ideas and new projects for the relation with uh, this world. Mm -hmm. Well, just today, in fact, we announced a $300 million grant over the next three years directed at the uh, media industry to help them evolve and to use the internet, uh, the internet more effectively. But I think when we look at this historically, it's, uh, it's quite an interesting story. Newspapers never made money from news. They made money from home and garden, from travel, from uh, arts, entertainment, because in all of those different sections you could show contextually relevant ads that contributed to the bottom line of uh, newspapers. What kind of ad could you show next to a story about an earthquake in Haiti? Not a travel ad, most likely. There's nothing really to show in that situation because what happened was newspapers used the contextually targeted ads from these other <coughs> commercial areas to cross-subsidize the news production. And then along comes the internet <coughs> and the web and this model goes away. So newspapers have to be much more uh, experimental about the kind of services they're offering than they were in the past. That old model will never come back.